Welcome to day three of Stamp Camp Week of Webisodes. And one of the very fun things that I get to do is to find new companies. Well, Art Impressions is one we found this year. And today we're going to focus on three of their stamp sets that are very unique. They are very unique. We have three different things. We have mini fronts and backs. We have a stacking a stamp set with a wobble spring. Right. And we have something called tri-folds, which are really fun, and we're going to show you how to do that. Lots of ideas, brand new things. Come, Come play, play with us. us. So here are the collections that we've assembled. And as I said, there's three different. So this is one, this is two. This is three, right. Three. So here's the mini fronts and backs, the tri-folds, and the stacking uh, stamp set with wobble springs. OK, so we're going to start with the wobble springs. So okay. all of their stamps are this uh, rubber. So it's gray rubber. And they're cling stamps, so you just put them on your block. But these are unique because they have a wobble spring. And it's, I think wobble springs are just really they fun. Are so cute. You want to talk and about that? The wobble spring, it, it, it's, it's plastic. It's got this plastic spring in the center, which sort of springs up one side. and it sort of wiggles around on there. On one side, it's got this sort of uh, bendable uh, acrylic piece that's uh, it's it's adhesive. So okay. you pull off the adhesive on here, and it sticks on this side. And there's also adhesive on this side, but this is kind of the the thicker side, the more the more sturdy oh, side. Okay. So you're gonna stick it to two different things, and it's gonna pop up. And wiggle. And the three sets, there's one that is uh, with a bear hug, there's one that's a main squeeze, and then there's one that's a tweet heart. Now these say Valentine sets. We didn't learn about these until April, after Valentine's Day, but right. you know, we think there's always time for a wobble, don't you right, think? Right, <laughs> right. They don't all say Valentine on there, so they can be used for right. lots of other things. But here is the first project, and as you can see, this little bird, and his top is separate and it wobbles, right. just like that. So the unique thing about this stamp set is it comes with, it actually comes with three stamps. Right. So one is the background, that bird, here's the overall, the background bird. One is the top, the, the head of the bird again, and then one is a sentiment that goes with it. So you stamp them separately. So this one was stamped on the white cardstock. It was stamped again on white cardstock on this separate piece, and then that wobble spring was placed in between the two. And that is what is the same with all three of those stamp sets, is that you've got that wobble spring separating the two. For this one in particular, I, I found that it didn't, to me, kind of the wobble spring kind of popped out a little bit around the bird. So I wanted to show you that you can actually cut the edges of it off if you want it to fit. You got, I've got a kind of a heavy duty pair of scissors here. And it, you can just cut through, so you can cut around and, and make that fit around your stamped image very easily. Because the part that you really need is that coil in the center. Right, it's that coil in the center. And then you just remove the adhesive backing and stick that one side wherever you need, and then the other side sticks right. to the other side. In this case, one to the back of the head and the other to the head on top. Right. And I think it's really nice to have that third stamp because, yes, you probably could figure out how to cut around how to that. mask that off, but it's cut around it. But just it's just so much nicer to have yeah, it there. Yeah, it's nice. And if you're seeing that shimmer that's going on, yes, that was done with Wink of Stella. Which we use a so, lot. Which we, yes, have this, come to love. This elegant set, and it has the clear <laughs> In it. So oh, this was done with Spectrum Noir. It was shaded in, right. it was blended, and then the Wink of Stella was added. Also, the circle, the eight circles and right. scallops cutting dies were used. This is just the basic um, cutting die set, but what's nice about it is that you've got uh, nesting circles and scallop circles. Right. So you can do exactly like this. You can cut out that circle and then you've got a scallop that will go a with frame. it. So this is actually a window that goes through to the right. inside. And then on the inside we have another scallop and there is the Hugs for My Tweet Heart, which is the other stamp in it. Right. And then we've also used um, the uh, Petite Dazzles. Now, these are tiny, so you can see these little pieces. 
the corners, all of those as well right, as so they the love. Right in. Yeah, it yeah. has the little sentiment there. Swirl at the this top. This is done on the Robin's red paper pack yeah. and also the red suede was used for those accents. So lots going on. Now since the process is exactly the same for all three of them, this is the only card we're showing you, but you know, Wobble Springs. Oh, and by the way, Wobble Springs, you can buy them separately. There's a pack, right. I think, of 12 for mm -hmm. a little over six dollars. So. And we've used them yeah. on lots of other things. Yeah. Though. So I think we did show them the other stamps that there's one yes. with a bear and one with mm -hmm. a they're, they're very cute. Now we're going to move into the front and back. Do you want to bring those in? Right. And the these are all, also happen to be three of them for there some reason. There are many <laughs> front and back sets and in each one of these you get two images. So in the first one you get... You mean the front and the back? Well, the front and, and the front and the back, but also you get the ducks and the bunnies in okay. this one. You get the little boy and the little girl in this one, and you get owls and monkeys in that one. Okay, so <laughs> we're going. So, like you said, we've got um, owl and monkey, and then you also have two messages. Two, so you're getting right, two sentiments with each stamps. one of those. Yeah. So these are great, and the the front and back part is unique as well. We're going to show you that. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Oops, so they're small <laughs> stamps which is kind of interesting, but I'll tell you what, they pair beautifully with the um, uh, with the die cut right. cards, that, the, the new die cut cards, so the let me, swing cards. Let me move this for you. There's the front and the back looking through that little window. So, right, so here's the back <laughs> of the stamp, and then in the window is the little the front of the stamp. That is just the cutest thing. And of course they match so that you can glue them uh, together in the right. middle. That's the rectangular swing card. It looks like this when you get it. It's actually folded, and, right. and so a little window was cut right in the front there. Exactly. And it was surrounded with papers from the homegrown right. paper set, which I think you've got the I paper do, pack I have bit. the whole set. There's a paper <laughs> pack, but this is the, one of the papers that comes with it is covered with these rulers. And so Debbie oh. cut out the rulers individually and use them to frame the little ducky. Because I didn't remember that, and I was thinking, where'd you guys get the rulers? Yeah, that Very was clever. Neat. Neat idea. So um, in the set of die cut cards, you will have paper patterns that you can use to perfectly cut out the papers for each side right. for this spine. It's a real simple process, right. and once you get that paper on there, then you just cut that little window. And yes, we added some lace right in there and some of the petaloo flowers. I love the petaloo flowers, and they're covering up the little the little foot on the ducky so that when you open it up, you, <laughs> you can see it on this side. <laughs> very, very sweet. He's resting on the flowers. Very cute. Though. Happy birthday, you lucky, lucky ducky. ducky. So lucky ducky was from the stamp set. Yes. And the, the so, rest of it was computer journal. Now the I, this idea of that tiny window you can use with any of those. Sure. So that is one. Now to show you another, here is the owl. And this was also cut probably using that cutting die. Mm -hmm. But there he is in the front, there he is in the back. So really sweet and another to circle. see the front and the back of that. That's great. And it's added interest on the other side of the card. Right. And then some of these camping dazzles. These are scrapbooking dazzles right. that were added. And the Yura Hoot is part of the stamp set. The dazzles are from Great Outdoors. And so you've got, I think this is a tree, which is sure. actually coming in tree, as a branch. The lantern. It's, it's been paper backed with paper. Yes. That's Very. just a really cute idea. Very you, This fun. would be great. Uh, something like this could be used around Halloween too. Oh, it could, it'd be very darling, yeah. absolutely darling. <laughs> so the idea, let's bring those back in again. So with every set, you actually get two. Right. So we've shown you the ducky, but you also get a bunny. bunny. We've shown you the hoot, the owl, but you also get a monkey. Right. And, and then, then the boy and girl. And then you get the boy and girl. And this is great. One says never grow up, and the other says sugar and spice. So these are just really sweet cards. So fun, fun, fun. That's sweet. what I meant. And they're I, mini. They're tiny. Yeah. I was just captivated <laughs> with what they, what they have done. Very, very clever. Now the last set of three, also happens to be three, are these. They're called a tri-fold, not T-R-I, T-R-Y fold. <laughs> so it is a tri-fold, one, two, three. <laughs> it's just a play on words, but they're, they're really unique sets. I like these. Cards. Yeah, and these again are the cling rubber, and there's four pieces, pretty large pieces, but mm -hmm. what is so interesting to me is how you can use them together. Now, 
This card, number one, this is just a beautiful. You did this, didn't you, Gail? <laughs> I did, yeah. It's just gorgeous. We'll show you how. I'm going to slip off. No, I guess I'm going to undo just the bow. Just untie it. Okay. Right. Here we go. There we go. And then this is what the trifold has. So you've got one stamp, a second stamp, and a third stamp. All but right. when they layer together, they make a scene. They make a scene. Yeah. And I actually kind of like to show you the process of creating that before I go back and show you how I colored oh, that in. Okay. So I've got, and oh, and on the back of each stamp set, it gives you, maybe we can pull one sure. of those in. Um, it you gives use. you directions on there, which you kind of can't see with the stamps in there. But <laughs> there we go. There you go. They do give pretty detailed directions of how big your paper should be, how far away from the edges to stamp oh. it. Okay, and I'm gonna show you that a little bit of that, but you can refer to that. You can also refer to our instructions. And so here's a piece of paper, uh, cardstock actually, 11 inches by five and a quarter inches, and this is called for right on the set. Now okay. you can modify these, of course, any way you want. Yeah. But in, a, in what they are expecting is that it's gonna be like this, and then three and a quarter inches from each edge, I, I scored a line for this particular card, which in the instructions they'll say divided into three. That works great too, but I just gave it a number. I gave it three and a quarter. It's <laughs> not even thirds, but it's close enough for what I was using. So scored a line on both of those edges, so this is the way it's going to be folded, like so. So I've got a piece here that I did that with. The next thing I did was getting ready to stamp, and it tells you just where to place those stamps, the ones from that very same set, which I think is. Do you want that? Yeah. That you want them. You want and to see it? you're going to start on the center. What's going to be the center of your card? I need the stamps. Is oh, what I need. okay. Is that what you're looking right. for? Right. And so I've marked. It says half inch from the top, right in the center, is where you're going to put your first stamp for these trifolds. And the first one is this center scene, which is a bench. So I've got that ready. I've got one of our new um, fluid chalkings. This is periwinkles. This is one of those colors that was made just for paper wishes. These are really neat colors. And it's very inky. That's why I chose it. <laughs> <laughs> so you get that inked up. And so you're going to stamp. And I made the mark just so you can see it. You can make a small pencil mark to erase later. But that's a half inch from the top is where you place your first stamp, right about there. And they do this so that you'll be sure to see those stamped images when you're done. So that's your first stamp. Then you turn this whole piece over. Now we're on the back side, and I've got some measurements on here. On this side, I've got an inch measured down, and on this side, an inch and a half. So now I'm going to grab the image that's going to fold over. It's actually going to fold over from the left, so when we're on here, we're going to place it on the right. So I'm going to ink that one up. And this will all look, um, you'll be able to understand it real simply when I'm all <laughs> done here. So I'm going to stamp this. And it says one inch down from the top. So that's about where I'm, place, where I'm placing it. And I'm going to keep close to the fold. So that's where that second stamp goes. Okay. And that's one part of that scene. And on the other side, one and a half inches from the top. And that is, make sure that I get it oriented correctly there. Ink that up. We're almost finished. Stamp that near the fold, one and a half inches from the top, right there. So it's just a little bit of planning is required to make sure that they're in the right place. Actually, it's just following directions. Following directions. Right? <laughs> They've really, done the planning. <laughs> They've done it for you. It's also in the gallery. And then when you fold over this side and fold over this side, then you've got them they're going to be right in the right place. Right. One last thing that they tell you is if you want to cut around these images. Which you probably do. Which you do, because <laughs> you want to be able to see the whole scene at once. On this side, you start one inch from the bottom. On this side, you start one and three quarter inches from ah. the bottom. And just very briefly, very briefly, if you do that, right about there, and then you just, and I'm going to do this so quick. You can take your time and make that look as nice as you want. You can go all the way over to the fold, cut it off at the fold, and I would be much more careful with this if I was making this. So that when they're folded, 
they expose the rest of that. Right. I, I would do the same thing on this side. I would start there, cut off the top. Well, and, and as a matter of fact, result. that's what you did here. That is what I did. <laughs> so let's get in and see just what all is going on. Now, one thing that I'm noticing is the pearlescence of this on black. Now, you've done it with um, white, and it looks like you embossed it, so right. you used the super fine white embossing and powder. And I actually used the chalkboard paper pack, so oh. these are the, the pieces. The, I, I put it on black cardstock, but I did use the chalkboard dark papers with those borders on them yeah. already. and that's what the borders. There's one sheet that only has the borders, and, well, and then there's one that has the uh, Simply Wonderful at the top. Mm -hmm. So you can use both of them, and of course there's two of each. But I think that's just so fun how you uh, use that so perfectly right. here. And we'll see, just so pretty. And then I love Brilliant Woman that you <laughs> did with that lamp, right. and you perfectly positioned the um, holographic fireworks to paper. just be right in the center. I embossed just that part of the lamp stamp on, so on there and cut it out. It just, I just love that. I just wanted it super bright there, the little night, yes. night light, basically. That's and then I colored it all in with Perfect Pearls. Okay, you're going to show us that? I am. Okay. Perfect Pearls and a little water. It's, it's with the confections set, Okay. which I already have them opened up, but they, they look like this. It's just beautiful colors. There's the purple, the blue, the green, the pink. They're, they're just gorgeous colors. And in order to paint them in, you're going to use the small brush that comes with the set and a little bit of water. So I'm just going to get a little, well, actually first. <laughs> first you're going to get these over back in. Up. <laughs> I'm going to put some of the paints into, I like to use the lid. This hasn't been used, so it needs a little broken oh. up a little bit. There we go. Um, a little bit of the, the pigment into the cap. Here, I'm going to move them over. Yeah. And I'm going to make a mess too, apparently. That's okay. Okay, I want the blue one. That's what I wanted. Okay. So I've got a little bit so of that. So those are the lids. Right, a little bit of the blue, and then I'm going to get a little bit of water and make a paint out of it. And depending oh. on how um, depending on how wet you get it, that sort of depends on how dense the color is. Okay. How okay. vibrant it is. Okay. Right. I'm going to get a little bit more. And then you just start painting with it. And I started painting that pot down at the bottom with green, so you can see that green. And I wanted a little bit more color. I didn't want it to just be green, I wanted it to be, to be a little bit more vibrant than that. I wanted some shadows. So I actually went back and picked up some of the blue, and I'm mixing them a little bit, but it, it looks neat when it's done. And I just sort of added some highlights with the blue. And I even added a little purple into that, so it gives it sort of a patina and different shades there so you can see that boy that's gorgeous and easy mm -hmm. I mean you didn't yeah, purple I did already yeah very simple well, let me go bring, around and have fun with that let me bring your finished in so a couple of techniques uh, heat embossing you're really familiar painting with pearlescent with the perfect pearls, perfect pearls. and then the holographic shimmer you've also right. matted this on right. the holographic after the card was totally folded then okay. i matted the whole thing on that one piece and that ribbon you see is between the mats oh i see between the holographic and the black mm -hmm. so this is overlapping a little bunny there that you left black mm -hmm. and then that one where we've done a little smile with the um with the petite dazzles. dazzles. And then here with the bench, we've got to put some uh, petite dazzles birds, which just are <laughs> fluttering, as well as some flowers in the pot. Just in strategic places. And down and here. This is the other stamp that comes with the oh, set, so great. that's the sentiment that comes with it. Perfect. Just a stunning, stunning look. Now, our last card is another variation using, oh, no, wait, we've got two more. Yep, okay, yep. so there they are exactly as the uh, manufacturer has right. laid them out, except right. you did black and mm -hmm. curvy pearls and all that. Here is another way of overlapping two of them and just letting the third one on the top cover up the message. Right, so all of the stamps were used here, even though you're only seeing this one fold, this one was masked off and stamped over that one. So okay. it's very easy to mask an area off when you're stamping, just using 
some uh, like a post-it post -it. or something like that. Right, right. so beautifully done. And so these you were would, colored in with the uh, watercolor pencils. I was going to say, yeah. it looks like that. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've got some of the homeward bound um, embellies and papers and just really, really, really sweet. That's a unique way of using it. That's the sentiment down it there is. that comes with the set as well. Good things are just around the corner and just beautifully done. So again, that masking, you would stamp this first and then, um, no, 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 you'd stamp no, this first? No, I would stamp okay. this first. Yeah, I, I, that would have been a good thing to show. Darn it, I wish I had. But um, So I would go ahead and stamp this side then I would stamp it again on another piece of paper, like, oh, for instance, if I stamped it again on an, if, if I stamped it on this side, I would stamp it again on another piece of paper. Then I would cut it out and set it on top of that stamp. On top of the stamped image, That masks right. it so that I can stamp the other set okay. and it won't go over that there stamp. There we go, just to walk right. you through that. Mm -hmm. So that's yet another, another variation of this one. Right. And finally, we have a really, very, very fun variation that Debbie did. And this is, looks just like a five inch or so square, sure. six inch square card. Mm -hmm. But when I push these together, ta-da, ta look what happens. <laughs> isn't that just the neatest little look? And I not love a, that. Isn't that just perfect? The surprise <laughs> box. Yes. So we've got birthday wishes. We've got the second one here. And the third one in the back, you can see that they're resting on sections. Right. So those were all three stamps that were used, and they were colored in with, they were embossed in black and then colored in with um, um, Spectrum Noir. But right. Just, just beautiful. And I love, see, there are the layers in the box, so are these little gussets that you just glue across, and then when you squish it, it'll just lay yeah. flat and again. Let me show you that again, because this is really fun. So it comes like this. You can have the bow if you like, and a mm -hmm. piece on the front. And then when you just squish them, it, it goes like open. that. They pop open, you've got the layers, and... You've got room for lots of sentiments right. all around the card. So Grandma, wishing you wonderfulness, wonderfuls. Okay, and how did she do I that? I love you, just clever, clever, clever. Okay, <laughs> bring it in. How did she do that? Here is the piece that was basically used. So it's a piece of cardstock that measures 12 inches by six inches, so those are the dimensions you see there. And then starting from the left edge, she measured over two and seven eighths inch and scored lines all the way down. Two and seven eighths, two and seven eighths, all the way down, even to this point. But this piece is a half inch, will be a tab, and you cut off the top piece, okay? okay. So now you've got that tab. You're also gonna score it halfway down, all the way across. And then you're going to cut on these places that, it, while it's scored on the bottom, it will be cut at the top, and that forms those panels at the top. Then you put it together like a box, fold that little tab. I would use ultra tape to adhere yes, that together. I would too. And then there are just some little uh, additions of cardstock. Once that's taped together, I'm going to hold it that way so you can see. What, there are some additions of little cardstock gussets in here that are taped in place to create that folded card. Very clever, very clever. I just think it's fun to open and close it. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and to have it pop up. And then it can just sit there and that's your little yeah. card. Just yeah, then it sits pop. open. And in fact, you would pop. see it like that. That is adorable. And that's a great very use clever. of the trifold stamp. So you've right. got that you can see all the way through to all three of the images in those stamps. Right, so we have the trifold stamps and we have the front and back stamps. Right. We have the little, yeah, the front and back mini stamps. And then we have the ones the with the wobble ones with the wobble springs. Yeah. Yeah, great thing. We're happy to have Art Impressions with us, and we're happy to have you join us tomorrow for day four. For day four. We'll see you then.